So it turns out you just whack it with a hammer and a screwdriver. Disclaimer, just because we do it doesn't mean you should. Okay, I'm gonna get started on some of the fuel system stuff and just kind of getting things out and kind of starting to put things where they're supposed to be. This is our double fuel pump bracket and we've got our fine filter, we've got our coarse filter, we've got a fuel pump right here. Okay, just like that, because the fuel is gonna come in here and then we've got this guy, our T connector, and it's gonna come out like that. So we probably want these up as far as they can go. Close one. And, oh, I see. They sit in there. Ooh, how fancy. Okay. Fancy. So they sit in there like that. And then we have this connector going down here. So it's a pretty darn long thing. Got my photo thingy plans, whatever. Yeah, so they should be like as far forward as possible. And then. Yeah. Okay. So we've got uh ooh, yeah, these would these would make sense. Oh, that's cool. It has cutouts for the little for the little ring, I guess. Let's see. Does it matter which way they go? How do they have theirs? size oh Wait, this can't be right what are these for this has got to be for something else and it'd be nice if these parts were like labeled this isn't right these are not the right size like all the same size so weird oh, but they don't fit okay well that's pretty that's pretty funny okay so these do not fit so they must be these ones even though these are stupid long Ay, yay, yay. No, these don't go anywhere near small enough. Am I doing this wrong? What the heck am I supposed to do with that? Come on. I mean, do these clamp down small enough? Yeah, these should clamp down small enough. I think these would, yeah. Sure they would. They totally would. Yeah, but no, not these ones. That's ridiculous. So, I guess what I'll have to do is just widen this. Widen those holes, maybe? I don't know. Strange. Strange, though. Okay, hello, we're back. Uh, so, I, uh, after watching the uh, home built help thing about, uh, you know, installing the UL power engine and all this stuff, that was helpful. So, I think I figured out what I need to do now and have a better understanding of it. We still have issues with these things. But anyway, I'm going to drill out these holes to actually mount this thing to the firewall and then mark the spots to mount it on the firewall before I add anything else to this. Uh, in fact, I'm going to take out these, these clamps as well. Sharpie, get this thing. 
these. So we'll mark it out right here. Yay. All right, so I guess this is supposed to be about, I already marked out about 60 inches. Let's see, I guess it, I don't know if it's 60 inches it looks like it's about 60 inches from the very top of the from this corner of this uh of this whatever the heck this thing is called so about uh, about 60 inches or so which is roughly like there so if we just sort of drew a line from here to here Kind of gives us our corner. There we go. <clears throat> so what we can do, I guess, is line this up generally like this. We don't want to be on top of any rivets, though. Super duper. Now I can, as usual, uh, remove this and deburr both, par uh, both parts, both sides of the metal. And then we can get back to attaching the stuff to this bracket and then mounting the bracket eventually. And let's take this expensive ECU bundle and put it back here with all the uh, engine stuff so that hopefully nothing will happen to it okay interestingly enough uh, the bracket design here looks like they've updated it from how it used to be and so they have these cutouts here but uh, the cutouts do not fit the uh, the hose clamps these worm gear clamps that uh, <clears throat> that they actually uh, include with it. it they do fit these ones these 90 to 110 millimeter ones, but they're way too large to actually hold the uh, fuel pumps securely. So um, these uh, 64 to 38 millimeter ones, or two and a half to one and a half inch ones, number 32, they look just about the right size, but um, so I need to enlarge these holes. Yay, so perfect now. So it turns out you just whack it with a hammer and a screwdriver and it's gonna be just great. Is it uh, the nicest? No, no it's not. But it's gonna, you know, it's gonna get us this much closer to getting this thing done instead of having to hold off on jobs. 
and having to get more parts it can get frustrating after a bit. We're gonna get these things on here and uh, make some progress. Back to work. Now I can actually start assembling this thing and kind of get things rocking and rolling. I'm gonna go ahead and label.